If you are a fan of the glitch aesthetic, then this video is for you. I'm Dave from Modify, and in this episode of our Modifier mini-series, we're going to be diving headfirst into Modify's Pixel Salt modifier. This simple, powerful, and totally free modifier, along with many more, can all be found on our website. Just head along to www.modify.com, click on the Effects tab, scroll down, and then you can enter the Pixel Salt page here, where there's an example project. We're going to jump into this one and run through the properties. Let's go. Okay, so here we are within the Pixel Sort project within Modify. And like all other run throughs and videos, I mean, I like to go through the layers tree on the left hand side just to make sure we understand what's happening in the project. So let's start down here at the bottom. We have a bitmap that's providing this background image. And then above that, we have a shoe and saturation modifier, which is changing the color from this sort of brick ready browny color to uh, the blue. Then we have a group above there with the words pixel sort in them and uh, that have an outline and a repeater modifier on them. So you, those two modifiers combining are making this uh, sort of a 3D extruded text effect there. And then above that, we have another copy of the text pixel sort the all important pixel sort modifier. I just moved to a part of the animation showing this, you can see that. And then above that, we have another copy of the text with an outline modifier over it that's just making the text a little bit clearer to see. So if I play this animation now, we can see that throughout this, we are affecting the rotation and the threshold of the pixel sort modifier. So if I click this here, See the rotation here being affected by a sawtooth wave. That's just giving that continuous rotation around there. And then the threshold is oscillating up and down via a, a sine expo wave. So I can access those motion effects by clicking this button on the side here or by clicking, I've got it closed, clicking these shortcuts here. Okay. Um, let's look a little bit in a little bit more detail at all of the properties available within the pixel sort modifier. Um, like all layers and modifiers within modify, we have an opacity control at the top here. If I wanted to uh, change how visible the total effect was. In fact, let me just, I don't have to pause the animation here. We can leave things playing and alter them in real time in modify, but I'll just stop this at this point here. And then you can see how I'm affecting the opacity there. Uh, same with all of our blend modes are available. Some really cool effects. Again, if you go down to some of these, really nice. Um, I'm going to put that back to replace. We can also sort by different properties of the images underneath. Here it's set to Luma, but we can also set it to Hue and Saturation. So if you want to base your pixel sorting on different aspects of the uh, layers underneath the modifier, you can alter that there. Uh, then we have the rotation uh, property. So I can alter this by moving this slider here, placing a number in here, or the easiest way is probably just to drag this wheel around, drag, drag the gizmo around and you can set that to whatever you want. Again, that's being animated in this via modifiers motion effects to give this continuous spinning effect. And then below the rotation, we've got a threshold control. Now the threshold sets the sort of aggressiveness of the pixel sorting, like how much do you want to be included? So um, all the way down, it's difficult to see. Let's bring this to the animation to control this. And you can see how that threshold is affecting how much of the image actually gets uh, affected by the pixel sort. Again, if we change the mode here, this threshold will have different effects. Back to Luma, set that back to where it was. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the final property is pixel size. Now it does exactly what you think it might do. Um, we've got a fairly low pixel size here. If I start to increase this, we get more and more uh, larger pixels, or I say fewer pixels of a larger size, I should say. Um, so there you can see that comes all the way up. And it's very, very hard to read. 
out. So um, really simple but effective modifier to make some great uh, glitchy effects within modifier. It's also absolutely worth checking out our pixel salt page on our website for the other example project that we've got there. Um, this is really cool practical application of pixel sorting in a great design project. So let's just open this up, have a quick look. Okay, I'm just going to play this here so you can see what's happening. And all of the glitchiness and that digital effect in the center of the canvas there is all being provided by this pixel saw modifier. So this is what it looks without. And if I turn that on, you can see really, really cool. So please do check that out as well. Okay, this was a super quick run through the pixel sort modifier with a couple of example projects. Please let us know what you'd like to see more of, if you'd like more detail, would you like uh, any more different tutorials that we can add? We're very happy to tailor this to whatever you want to see. Uh, please like and subscribe and we'll be back soon with another video. Thank you.